All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally arrange my beats when I use the MPC Live 2. We're going to be using Ableton as well. This is how I usually do it. I arrange all my beats in Ableton. And before we get into that, if you want to show support to my channel, you could go to the Buy Me A Coffee link. Doing this will just help my channel grow. You know, I might save up some money to cap some more gear for you guys and show you how to use it. And you know, if you want to show some love just because I've been helping you out in my videos, that would be much appreciated. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is the beat that we're going to be using as an example. Really quick beat, shout out to Tayside and Stolen Drums. Uh, check out their sample packs as well. But yeah, with this beat, it was really simple. I just had two tracks. One was for the drums and the other one was for the sample. So how I actually get this track to go into Ableton, I use quarter inch chords. So if you look in the back, these quarter inch chords are going into the main output. I'll try to show a better picture so you see it. So I have two quarter inch tracks going to the main output. And this cord is wrapping all the way around to here. This is gonna be my audio interface. You can use any audio interface um, that has multiple inputs in it. But yeah, you don't have to use this exact one. Um, this one's good, you know, I just had it for a while. But yeah, if your interface just has two inputs, that's all you'll need. So the next step is just to open up Ableton. Again, this is, I'm showing you how I do it in Ableton, but you can use this in any doc. You can, if you use FL Studio, if you use Logic, you can use those. So I'm just gonna make it so it's one audio track for now. But yeah, if you're using Ableton, the first step is just going to options right here, going to preferences. I'm using the focus right, so definitely make sure that it's on the right uh, ISO drive. So I'm just using the focus right for this one. And then next, we're gonna click the input config right here. So these are gonna bring up all the stereo inputs on the interface that you want to use. So the inputs right here are the one and twos. So um, you could do mono, but for beats, I would just uh, make sure that the stereo inputs are selected. It's going to be the one dash two. And that makes it so, you know, the left coming from the MPC and the right coming from the MPC is, is going to be re getting recorded. So next I'm going to hit OK right here. And then right here we have the audio track. So you're going to make sure that this says uh, EXT in, and you're going to click the second down arrow right here. And if you chose everything right, uh, the one dash two is going to be right here. Uh, what I usually do is hit auto and then hit this record button down here. So now, if I go back to my MPC, I'm gonna actually turn off the speaker too so you guys can really hear. I'm just gonna adjust the level. So now if I play the beat, now it's playing in Ableton right here. Also side note, you know, if you press play, you can adjust the levels like right here. You pretty much don't want them clipping, but honestly, you can experiment with it because sometimes like if you get a good clipping sound like especially for the drums it could just make it knock a little bit different but when I, actually when i play it from here so if i play it you can kind of see it getting in the red honestly for a lot of the beats i record into ableton i don't mind if it's in the red a little bit because i think the saturation when it's like being transferred analog wise like it just it's different saturation and clipping than digital clipping and saturation so don't don't be scared to you know if it's in the red a little bit you know experiment with that so to actually start recording the sounds into ableton what i like doing is going on to the different view on ableton so if i hit tab it's going to bring you to more of the linear uh view in ableton so right here we're getting ready to record in Ableton, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my MPC. I'm actually just gonna bring it a little bit closer. So in the MPC, I'm gonna hit mix. And like I mentioned in the beginning, one track is just drums, like the drum break that I chopped up. And the other track is gonna be the melodic sample that I use. So what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty much just gonna record one track at a time on this one linear progression going on Ableton. So on here, I'm gonna select the pan and volume, and then let's do the drums first. So this track right here is the drums. I'm gonna solo this. So now if I play it, 
It's only the drums playing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit record right here. And it's gonna start recording. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit play. And now it's recording the drums in. I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, and then also make sure to stop the recording right here in Ableton. So now we have that two bar drum loop in Ableton. So now we want to actually get the melodic sample. So um, what you could do, you could just switch the, the solo right here to the melodic track. So now if I hit play, it's just a melodic track playing with, you know, hit the little bass in the sample and stuff. So now we're pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm going to start recording the melodic sample from the MPC into Ableton. But before we actually start recording, um, you can make sure, like for right here, I'm just going to click a little bit away from this audio clip right here. Because sometimes if I hit record, it's going to play, or it's going to record like from the beginning. So I don't know, on this 13th bar, I'm just going to click that. So it starts recording there. So I'm going to hit record and see how it's starting to record from right there. Now I'm gonna go back to the NPC. I'm gonna select solo on the melodic track and I'm just gonna hit play. So now it's recording the melodic part of the beat in here. I'm gonna stop it on the NPC and now I'm gonna stop it on here. So now we have the drums and the melodic part from the beat. So the next step is to find the BPM of the project. So if you just go to main, the BPM that I have is gonna be the 73. So, you know, in Ableton, we wanna make sure this says 73 right here. So I'm gonna switch that. So now the project in here is 73. So now with the audio clips, you know, we're gonna wanna edit it a little bit. So we're gonna bring it in closer so in this, I'm gonna actually zoom in. And this is a little trick that I do, um, especially if you use Ableton. So I'm gonna double click on this sample and now it's gonna bring up this waveform right here. Usually when you record it, it's gonna automatically warp it. But what I like doing, I'm gonna unwarp this. I'm actually just gonna go to this melodic clip too. I'm gonna unwarp both of these. So I'm gonna go back to the main drums and what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this little uh, play head right here. It's going to be like, it's going to be, be below this one right here. The, the top one is going to be like a looping playback region. And the second one is actually like letting you know, like, hey, this is where the sample is going to start playing. Like if I go to the actual play line and if I mess with it, you see it moving. It's adjusting the playback. So I'm going to go and put this playback marker right where the first drum hits. So this is the first kick. So I'm just gonna bring it in real close. Like I'm really gonna bring it in like that. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna right click on this playhead and I'm gonna hit warp. Uh, it should be the 73 BPM because that's it. it's gonna be the same uh, BPM that we or we changed the BPM of the project, so it's going to be 73. I'm going to click this right here. And I'm going to zoom out. So now, the top part that I was talking, that I was telling you about, this is the playback, like the loop playback header right here. I'm going to put this on the first uh, beat right here. Then I'm going to go all the way down here, pretty much do the same thing. So we know this what we recorded in was a two bar loop. So it's this bar right here and then this bar right here. So being that I'm I'm gonna drag this playhead all the way down to the three right here. This is just extra uh, stuff that we recorded and we don't need that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the loop playback. Bring it all the way down here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is hit this loop right here so now if I go over here, I'm just gonna drag this, the drums that we just added, I'm gonna put it all the way in the beginning and I'm gonna right click on it and hit loop section. And now when I hit play, everything's synced up to the project. 
see how it's looping. And we're pretty much going to do that with the, with the melodic track. So what we want to do is actually make a new track so it's just this track having the drums on it and then we want another track with the melodic loop. So what you can really do is just drag and hold and if you put it below it's going to make a new track for it. And we're pretty much going to do that same thing that we did to the drums. So we're going to find this first marker over here, bring it all the way in. This is like the beginning of the sample. I'm going to right click this warp to 73 BPM and I'm gonna adjust the playbacks right here so that end playback is gonna be at 3 and then bring this loop in make sure to also bring uh, the beginning part of the loop region in too so now it's just selecting this part hit the loop and then pretty much do the same thing in the timeline up here so I'm going to drag this over so now if I play everything I'm going to turn the metronome off or actually I'll keep it on so we know it's in sync BPM wise I'm going to play this so now it's looping so now we have all the audio coming from the, you know, we have the beat that we made from the MPC on Ableton now. So, you know, from here, this is where I really like to arrange. I I know in, on the MPC, you can arrange beats in it. I've done it. I'm not a big fan of it just because it's just easier, especially if you want to do cuts or like maybe add some like cool filters, some automation. I personally think doing it in a DAW is just way easier especially if you're used to using Ableton or FL. But here we can actually start arranging the beat. So, you know, just a basic one. I'm gonna maybe bring these drums back and I'm actually gonna copy this melodic part. Just copy, paste. So now we have, you know, pretty much gonna keep adding blocks to the timeline. So now if I play in the beginning, I might even pull it over, copy another part. Pretty much do the same thing over here. See how it's playing? This is where we can start arranging stuff. You know, from right here, this is where, you know, your knowledge of arranging beats will come in. Let me know if you want a video on that too. I could kind of show you how I arrange my beats. I'm going to be honest too. I usually keep it extremely simple when it comes to arranging my beats, you know. Um, for an example, like for right here, I'll, I'll give you a little sauce right here. It's not really sauce, but just some real, you probably hear it a bunch of songs. So I'm going to select these clips right here. I'm going to copy and paste them. And what I usually like doing is just having a little drop from the drums right here. So in Ableton, you can actually like select the clip and pretty much like on the MPC, this would be muting the track. So now if I play it from right here, it's gonna do that. Then it's gonna drop for a second. See how it just dropped? That's essentially using like mute pads in the MPC, but that's just one element when it comes to arranging. Like, again, I like using Ableton because you can add filters, you can add uh like EQs, like you can really do a lot of stuff when it comes to automating um, when you're arranging your beats. And one thing too, I forgot to mention, you know, like the sound too, like the sound coming from the quarter inches and then going into the interface, you're gonna have, like I said in the beginning, like you're gonna adjust everything. Like you might want the drums to hit a certain way so it's gonna saturate it. like. I personally think it just sounds better going into the D, uh, the DAW, especially when it's going to your interface or like, I have my SP over here, I want to start using it more, but like, this can be routing into the SP. There, there's just so many different variations, like you can do the arrangement in here, um, and you know, you could do the arrangement here and then eventually route everything over here. Um, but it's like, you might as well, if you're, if you're used to Ableton, you might as well route everything into Ableton, 
arrange it it sounds good you know all that stuff but yeah that's how i you know this is a really simple arrangement you guys can mess around with it but this is a very basic uh you know routing your mpc to ableton and doing arrangements and all that stuff i just wanted to show you guys because you guys Ask me in the last video, you know, just to show my process of that. And again, if you want to show support to the channel, I'm going to leave the buy me a coffee link in the description. Just again, helps my channel out. You know, if you want to see some cooler stuff in the future, definitely check this out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.